Good morning and welcome back. 635 right now. A new autism study coming out of Yale University that shows some very promising results. A reason for hope. Kevin Pelfrey, Harris Associate Professor of Child Psychiatry and Psychology at Yale, presented the findings over the weekend, is here with us this morning to, to kind of break it down for us. And this all has to do with oxytocin. Right. Talk a little about what you have found as you have done this study, what oxytocin has done with children with autism. Sure, so oxytocin is a, it's a hormone, it's also a neurotransmitter, it's a neuropeptide. It's involved in a variety of social behaviors. And so we have the idea that if we were to give um, this to children with autism, that we might be able to um, rescue parts of their brain that normally are not functioning, that are involved in understanding other people. So understanding, involved in understanding nonverbal communication, what the eyes mean, emotions, wow. things like that. And so we put um, the children into an MRI machine and we could measure their brain function as a result. We either gave them the oxytocin or we gave them a placebo. And the dramatic results were that we actually could turn on components of their brain that had previously been silent. Now, oxytocin is a natural chemical in the brain. So how right. do you administer it to the kids? And is it done just before an episode? Um, so you can uh, actually and uh, give this to children intranasally, so it's a little nasal spray. And that's a challenge because <laughs> most children do not enjoy nasal sprays, Very but true. you give uh, the little nasal spray and it actually gets into the brain um, through uh, parts of the, the nose that are actually connected to the brain. Um, it works on the brain. And so this drug is short acting, so it'll last for about 45 minutes to two hours. And so you can think of it um, as we do more work on this, is the potential to open up parts of the brain, get them to work, and especially prepare them for other therapies that are behavioral in origin. Mm -hmm. So you, you give the drug, you give therapy, they benefit more from the therapy. It, it's amazing. We have no time left, but there is a warning for parents who have a right, child with right. autism. You want to so, get this out there um, now. As a parent of a child with autism myself, I understand the, the urgency, but we're still in early days. So don't uh, look on you know, Google for oxytocin. Right. It, there's no telling what you could actually end <laughs> up with. Um, we're still working on this, still, still looking to see if this will, will work over time. All right. Okay. Thanks so much, Kevin, for My joining pleasure. us this morning. More to come here on Good Morning, Can I get back in 60 seconds.